Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, along with this segment uh, B, D. And as a result, we get this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, B, C, D. And this uh, side length uh, of this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, B, C is uh, 4 units whereas uh, this side length uh, BD is 2 times uh, square root of 6 units. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AB is equal to this segment uh, AD, and uh, the angle between them is uh, 90 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, BCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD. And we can see that this side length uh, AB is equal to this side length uh, AD. And I'm going to label this side length uh, as uh, lowercase a. Then this side length is going to be lowercase uh, a as well. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse uh, is 2 times uh, square root of 6, whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase a and uh, lowercase a as well. And our task is uh, to solve for uh, lowercase a value. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, a square equals to 2 times uh, square root of uh, 6 uh, whole uh, square. And now we can see on the right hand side uh, the square of this part uh, is going to give us uh, 24. So therefore we are going to have 2a square equals to 24. And now I am going to divide both uh, sides by 2. And here we can see this uh, 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore uh, a square value turns out to be 12 and now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and here we can see square and square root is gone so therefore uh, our lowercase a value turns out to be 2 times the square root of uh, 3 units so thus our this uh, a value is going to be 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 and likewise this uh, lowercase a value is uh, 2 times the uh, square root of 3 units uh, as well. And here's our next step. We have dropped this perpendicular BE on this uh, side uh, CD as you can see. And now let's make an observation. We can see this angle is 90 degrees, uh, this angle is 90 degrees, uh, this angle is 90 degrees as well. And we can see this uh, side length uh, AB equal to this side length uh, DE. If this side length is uh, 2 times square root of 3, then this side length uh, is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 3 as well. And likewise, uh, this side length uh, AD equals to this side length uh, BE. If this side length is 2 times square root of 3, then this side length uh, is going to be 2 times square root 3 as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC. And we can see its uh, side lengths are uh, 4 unit uh, and 2 times square root of 3 units. Let's assume this side length uh, CE is uh, x units. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 4, whereas our two other legs are 2 times square root of 3 and uh, x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 2 times the square root of uh, 3 whole square equals to 4 square. And now let's make an observation. The square of this part uh, is going to be 12. So therefore we are going to get uh, x square plus uh, 12 equals to 16 on the right hand side. 
and now I'm going to subtract uh, 12 from both uh, sides so therefore we can see these are gone so therefore uh, x square value turns out to be positive uh, 4 and now we are going to undo this uh, square and here we can see this square and square root is uh, gone so therefore our this x value turns out to be positive 2 units so thus our uh, x value turns out to be positive 2 units and here's our next step let's go ahead and uh, look at this whole uh, length uh, cd that is the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, 2 times square root of 3 plus 2 if we add them uh, our this uh, cd length is going to be 2 plus uh, 2 times square root of 3 units and here is our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, whole uh, blue shaded triangle uh, bcd and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times the uh, base times the height and in our case the base of this uh, blue shaded triangle is uh, this uh, cd and its uh, length uh, is uh, 2 plus uh, 2 times square root of 3 whereas the height uh, of this uh, blue shaded triangle is uh, this uh, BE length this is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 so this is the height uh, of this blue triangle let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, triangle area formula so it's going to be a half uh, times our base is uh, 2 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 times the height uh, is uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and now we can see this uh, 2 and 1 divided by 2 they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with this uh, square root of uh, 3 times uh, 2 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and now we are going to multiply by distribution so let's go ahead and multiply that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 plus uh, 6 uh, square units and this could also be written as the other way around 6 uh, plus uh, 2 times square root of 3 square uh, units and that is going to be approximately equal to 9.464 square uh, units uh, as well so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this blue shaded triangle bcd turns out to be 6 plus 2 times square root of 3 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 9.464 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye